Learn from God to enlighten your soul. This is your daily devotional reading. Our Father cares, April 6th, the privilege of assurance. And hereby we know that we are of the truth and shall assure our hearts before Him. 1 John 3 verse 19 I would impress upon our young men and young women the necessity of making their calling and election sure. I would beseech you to do no haphazard or uncertain work where your eternal interests are involved. By so doing, you lose happiness, peace, comfort, and hope in this life, and you lose also your immortal inheritance. My young friends, you are judgment-bound, and through the grace of Christ, you may render obedience to the commands of God and daily gain fortitude and strength of character so that you need not fail or be discouraged. Divine grace has been abundantly provided for every soul so that each one may engage in the conflict and come off victorious. Do not become sluggish, do not flatter yourselves that you may be saved in walking in accordance with the natural traits of your character, that you may drift with the current of the world, and indulge and please self, and yet be also, and yet be able to withstand the forces of evil in a time of crisis and come off victorious when the battle waxes his heart. You may learn every day to obey the orders of the captain of the Lord's host. My young friends, do you pray? Are you educating yourself to offer petitions for pure thoughts, for holy aspirations, for a pure heart and clean hands? Are you educating your lips to sing the praises of God and are you seeking to do the will of God? This is the kind of education that will be of the greatest value to you, for it will aid you in the formation of Christ-like character. Do not settle down in Satan's easy chair and say that there is no use, you cannot cease to sin, that there is no power in you to overcome. There is no power in you apart from Christ, but it is your privilege to have Christ abiding in your heart by faith, and He can overcome sin in you when you cooperate with His efforts. You may be living epistles, known and read of all men. You are not to be a dead letter, but a living one, testifying to the world that Jesus is able to save. Our Father cares, April 6th.